Hello everyone. Now what we have here is a, a, a representation, a graphical um, representation table of the 100 meter men um, in the 2009 World Athletics Championships. Now the really interesting thing about this is it's got the semi-final and the final and it's, it's also got the time that Usain Bolt ran to break the world record and, and this time of 9.58 is still the current world record. What's interesting to see is it's got his split times for different stages of the race. Now between the 20 metre and 40 metre mark, it took Usain Bolt 1.75 seconds to cover that distance. As he sped up, um, it took 1.67 seconds to complete the next 20 metre interval. After that, he, he reached his peak where he covered the 20 metres in 1.61 seconds. Now after this stage, you can see that his time between 80 to 100 metres is actually starting to go up again. It took 1.66 seconds for him to complete the final 20 meters. Now you might be asking, well why is that occurring? Well it, it's a pretty clear link to fatigue. Obviously uh, at around this stage of the race between 80 to 100 meters um, he's been active for about seven or eight seconds. Now high intensity activity meaning he'd be utilizing his ATP and his PC stores. Now as they run out, <clears throat> what we know happens is the body experiences uh, a level of fatigue. So this is a really clear indicator of fatigue in high intensity activities. You can see it's a common trend amongst all of the athletes between their last 20 metres. In fact, there isn't any other athlete who doesn't fatigue in that final 20 metres. Through this athlete here, Mark Patton, sorry I should say Darvis Patton, um, his fatigue was quite large in the in the final 20 meters of the last race he he went from 1.77 to 1.92 uh, most athletes didn't have a drop of, of that significant whereas yeah Usain Bolt was, was a slight drop but that would have continued to happen if, if the race had gone for another 20 meters we would have noticed that the split times between 100 and 120 would have been even um, even further down so how does that link with our course well obviously we're looking at fuel fuel um, depletion being a major fatigue causing mechanism. Thank you.